so let us move on to tutorial 8 basically this is a tutorial on entropy starts with uh, say clashes inequality entropy how to calculate entropy change then uh, entropy balance for system and so on so first problem a reversible heat engine receive heat at the rate of 2000 kilojoules per cycle 1500 kilojoules per cycle and 1200 kilojoules per cycle from three reservoirs at 1200 kelvin 1000 kelvin and 800 kelvin so let us draw this reversible heat engine so this there are three reservoirs one at 1200 kelvin another one at 1000 kelvin another one at 800 kelvin and uh, this 2000 kilojoules per cycle and this gives 1500 kilojoule per cycle and this gives 1200 kilojoules per cycle ok now it rejects heat to two different sinks one at 500 kelvin another one at 300 kelvin ok now this let us say qc1 and this is qc2 ok this is the arrangement <coughs> all process other than this heat transfer are adiabatic that means there is no other heat transfer in the engine with any other device the overall thermal efficiency of the engine is 60 percent that is 0 0.6 find the individual heat transfers to the sinks at 500 and 300 that is qc1 and qc2 so this is what is asked okay so now this is a so this reversible heat engine so that we have to keep in mind so let us say what is the qh qh equal to 2000 plus 1500 plus 1200 equal to 4700 kilojoules per cycle ok now work is equal to 4700 that is I will say qh net minus qc net so that will be equal to 4700 minus qc1 minus qc2 so thermal efficiency of the engine equal to 0.6 which is given equal to 4700 minus qc1 minus qc2 which is the work divided by the qh this 4700 qh ok so that is equation 1 but there are two unknowns ok so what is second equation how can we generate so you know that cyclic integral of del q by t is equal to 0 for a reversible cycle this clashes inequality so the clashes inequality in general states that cyclic integral of del q by t is less than or equal to 0 but for reversible cycle it is equal to 0 so let us apply that so what is that 2000 divided by the corresponding temperature 1200 plus 1500 divided by 1000 plus 1200 divided by 800 equal to or minus you have to integrate so positive heat transfers positive sign negative heat transfer negative sign you have to put so q c1 divided by 500 minus q c2 divided by 300 this sum this is cyclic integration that will be equal to 0 so that is the second equation which involves q c1 and q c2 ok so now these two equations are solved solving 1 and 2 simultaneously we get q 
QC1 equal to 1200 kilojoule per cycle and QC2 equal to 680 kilojoule per cycle. So, in this case you can see that engine, normally engine need not receive heat from only one reservoir. See for example, if you take a, a boiler of a, a steam power plant, for sensible heat, it may receive heat from one particular reservoir or combustion chamber and for giving the latent heat, it may receive heat from another reservoir or combustion chamber. So, it may be higher temperature and uh, basically for superheating, it may require one more uh, reservoir to get the heat or furnace. So, that means multiple heat transfers are possible in an engine. That's what is illustrated here. Okay. So, for example, the latent heat can be got from say 1000 Kelvin. The sensible heat can be got from 800 Kelvin reservoir and the superheating for saturated vapor to superheated vapor can be got from this as an example I am saying. Similarly, there can be multiple things. So, engine basically has several components. Each component is a control volume and together all the components will be taken as a system and uh, when you take it as a system only the work and uh, this uh, basically it will also have a work correct. So, work and heat transfers will be involved even work you can see multiple work will be there multiple pumps will be there multiple stage turbines will be there etc. So, we are now talking about a network here ok. So, this problem illustrates that an engine can work with multiple reservoirs taking multiple amounts of uh, heat and reject multiple amounts of uh, uh, heat to the different reservoirs. This is the first problem. Second one, 1 kg of air at a pressure of 10, 10 bar and 100 degree centigrade undergoes a reversible polytropic process which may be represented as PV power 1.1 equal to constant. So, please understand that reversible process. Here the PV per 1.1 is constant, P is in Pascal, V is in meter cube per kg specific volume. The final pressure is 2 bar. Okay. Evaluate the final specific volume, the final temperature and change in entropy. Now evaluate the work done and the heat transfer at B. Then C, repeat A and B that is evaluate the final specific volume, final temperature and change in entropy and uh, work and heat interactions assuming the process to be adiabatic but irreversible. Okay. Please see the difference. First one is reversible process. Reversible process undergone by a uh, system which is having hair. So, mass is 1 kg. Then uh, P1 is 10 bar. T1 equal to 100 degree centigrade that is 373 Kelvin then P2 equal to 2 bar that is what is given. Okay, Now, for A P V power 1.1 equal to constant that is given. Now, let us find we know that equation of state equal to PV equal to RT. So, for air, R is 287 joule per kg Kelvin. So, now we can say V1 will be equal to RT1 divided by P1, which is equal to what? Specific volume. Two eighty seven into three hundred and seventy three divided by ten bar. So ten into ten power five, which is equal to zero point one zero seven zero five meter cube per kg. So that is the specific volume one. Now I can apply this P one V one power one point one equal to P two V two power one point one. So that means I can find V2 by V1 equal to P1 by P2 power 1 by 1.1 which implies 
V2 equal to 0 0.4625 meter cube per kg. So, this is what this the initial final states are all fixed. So, now equation of state you can use T2 you can find T2 equal to what PV equal to RT. So, P2 V2 divided by R which is equal to 322.23 Kelvin. So, whatever value you want, you can uh, we have found that. So, estimate the final physical volume which is 0.4625, final temperature which is 322.23. So, then change in entropy. Basically, we are talking about specific entropy here. Yeah? What is change in entropy? You can also find the total entropy which is equal to m into so you may recall, uh, recall the TDS relationship since air is ideal gas delta S can be written as m into cv ln t2 by t1 plus r into ln v2 by v1 correct now cv can be got as r by gamma minus 1 which is equal to 717 joule per kg kelvin okay so now so we can know we know everything now so m m is 1 cv is 717 ln t2 is 322.23 divided by t1 is 373 plus 287 r value into ln v2 v2 is 0. 4625 divided by v1 is what v1 you have calculated here as 0 0.10705 so this will be equal to 315 15 joule per kelvin so part b part a is solved final specific volume final temperature and change in entropy so this is the so this relationship we can find from see tds equal to du plus pdv so this relationship if you write tds equal to du by t plus pdv by t then i can write this as cv dt by t plus you know pv equal to rt so i will say rt by v i can put okay so rt by t v into dv so now this t cancels so r into dv by v so when you integrate this i get this expression okay so this expression is got from the tds relationship there are two tds relationships first one is tds equal to du plus pdv second one is tds equal to dh minus vdp so by using the enthalpies uh, Thing we can write this so from this two we can use any one and uh, get the value of the change in the entropy now the b part is work and heat interaction so what is work so b part work interaction equal to what for p v power n equal to constant work interaction will be equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 1 so we can do that that will be mass is 1 1 into p1 v1 p1 is basically 10 into 10 power 5 into v1 is 10705 okay minus p2 p2 is given as 2 bar 2 bar 2 into 10 power 5 into v2 is 0 0.4624 which you have calculated divided by n is 1.1 minus 1. So, that will say work will be equal to 145.7 kilo joules. Okay. So, Q equal to W plus delta U since we can take delta Ke equal to delta Pe equal to 0. So, now we can say Q will be equal to W is 145.7 plus M into Cv into T2 minus T1. 
So be careful with the units because this is in kilojoules now. Okay, so it will be one forty five point seven into one thirty plus one into CV is zero point seven one seven. Now this is in kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Okay, so that into T two is three hundred and twenty two point two three minus three hundred seventy three. So Q will be equal to hundred and Hundred and nine point two seven kilojoules. So that is the work and heat answer which is found in this. Then third part. Third part is the process is process is irreversible and adiabatic. Okay, the first process was polytropic reversible. Now it is irreversible and adiabatic. So now. But it is given that occurring between the same states. So that means final specific volume, final temperature are the same. Delta S will also be the same because the same states. No, so no issue. That is what is given in the problem. You can see that. Repeat A and B, assuming the process to be adiabatic and irreversible between the same end states. So initial state is same, final state also is the same. So which we have found now, T two equal to three twenty two point two three, V two equal to point four six two five. That is intact. So that means uh, delta S also will be the same because we cannot calculate delta S otherwise because the process is irreversible. So since we know between the same two states. The delta S we have calculated using a reversible process for any process occurring between the same end states because entropy is a property. Delta S will also be the same, so there is no issue. Okay, now work uh, uh, first law Q minus W equal to delta U. Now here W we have to calculate because Q is zero here, so with that we can calculate W. In this case W will be equal to minus delta U equal to M. Into C V into T two minus T one, but the end states are known to me, so this will come out to be thirty six point four three kilojoules. So this is the answer. So here the main thing is let us plot a PV diagram. Basically, you know the ten bar, and uh, this is say two bar. Okay, now some process has occurred. So for some part of the process has occurred. So now we know the process. So this is. So let us say this is PV for one point one equal to constant, but this is known to me. This is a reversible process. Now, some adiabatic process has under uh, undertaken with the same state now. Adiabatic and reversible process that can be represented by dash line. I don't know the exact path because it is irreversible, but the same end states are known to me. Okay, so you can see this. Since it's adiabatic, Q is zero, and the W can be calculated as minus del U. Since the say states, end states are known, initial and end states are known, I can calculate this work using the internal energy change. What is entropy change? Yes, two minus yes one. That is intact for whatever be the process. I can also another process I can consider for whatever be the process. Since the end states are fixed, the Delta S will also be the same when you calculate what you have calculated using the reversible process. That will be same for all other processes because it is a point function. Okay, so that is important of this problem basically. Then uh, third problem: a certain gas has CV of 1.2 kilojoule per kg Kelvin when it is expanded isentropically. What is isentropically? Delta S equal to zero, isentropic, isoentropic process, isentropically, from a specific volume of. So I'll write this. So V one equal to zero point zero six two five meter cube per kg, and T one equal to five hundred forty Kelvin. That is given. So isentropic process. 
இந்த ஐதன்டாபி பார்த்தா டி டூ இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு பாயிண்ட் ஒன் எயிட் செவன் ஃபைவ் மீட்ரு கியூ பர் கேஜி சாரி வி டூ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் வால்யூம் டூ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் வால்யூம் ஆஃப் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் எயிட் செவன் ஃபைவ் ஸோ வி டூ இஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் எயிட் செவன் ஃபைவ் இஸ் டெம்பரேச்சர் ஃபால்ஸ் பை ஒன் செவன்ட்டி தட் மீன்ஸ் டி டூ இல் பி ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபைவ் ஃபார்ட்டி மைனஸ் ஒன் செவன்ட்டி ஈக்குவல் டு த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் செவன்ட்டி கில்வின் இந்த ஐசன்ட்ராபி ப்ராசஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஓகே நவ் வென் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பேண்டட் இன் அ அடிபயோட்டிக் ப்ராசஸ் அடிபயோட்டிக் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் நாட் ஐசன்ட்ராபிக் ப்ராசஸ் ஓகே ரிவர்சிபிளி ஸோ ஐசன்ட்ராபிக் ப்ராசஸ் ஷுட் பி அடியபயோட்டிக் பட் நாட் ஒன் அடிபயோட்டிக் இட்ஸ் ரிவர்சிபிளி அடியபயோட்டிக் So, reversibly adiabatic process is called isentropic process. When I say adiabatic process, it need not be reversible. Okay? So, that you have to understand. So, here, when it is expanded in an adiabatic process with friction, obviously, it is irreversible. Okay? Then, same final specific volume so here also v2 equal to 0.1875 meter cube per kg but now temperature here is basically falls by 30 kelvin only that is 540 minus 30 equal to 510 kelvin so these are the states initial state two properties are given to fix the state two substances cv is given as 1.2 kilo joule per kg kelvin okay now see this v1 t1 are given one process is isentropic process reversibly adiabatic process v2 is point 1875 but temperature has decreased to 370 adiabatic process which has friction this is reversible irreversible process but the same final specific volume is got but now temperature is only dropped by 30 kelvin that is the final temperature is 510 so these are the scenarios now what is asked find the change in entropy for 1 kg of gas in adiabatic process okay so mass of the gas is 1 kg that also you can write here m equal to 1 kg okay now how will you do this change in entropy for change in entropy for isentropic process is zero so adiabatic process is reversible so entropy change we have to calculate so how to do this okay for isentropic process undergone by an ideal gas so that one of the thing we have to take ideal gas is pv power gamma equal to constant okay p power gamma equal to constant how you get this because you know that dts sorry uh, tds relationship we take one of them plus pdv so now zero for for isentropic process d is equal to zero correct so i can say du plus pdv equal to m no not m so cv dt plus or uh, this is p equal to r t by v okay into dv so let us also divide by t by t so this will be by t and this t goes so now this is equal to zero so from this i can get a relationship between uh, t and v t and v similarly using pv equal to rt i can get a relationship between pv that is what i have got here okay so for isentropic process which is reversibly adiabatic process undergone by an ideal gas we can say that the process obeys 
pv power gamma equal to constant okay this is not true for steam or r134a etc only for ideal gas which has undergone an isentropic process which is reversibly adiabatic we can write pv power gamma equal to constant so if for adiabatic process also we cannot write this only when it is reversibly adiabatic i can write this okay so once i know this i can get the tv apply this also pv equal to rt or straight away from this i can get a relation for t2 s divided by t1 okay where 2s shows is the state reached through an isentropic process you understand so when i say 2 is actual actual state 2 2s is the isentropic state 2 okay so that i can write that so using this i can write this as v1 by v2s power gamma minus 1 okay please understand this is the expression so now i, I can say for isentropic process i can put s here yes and yes to show that this is constant entropy entropy is constant so s is constant so i can put v2s t2s that's what i have put here so once you do this i can get now i know t2s what is that 370 i know v2s that is 0.1875 t1 540 then t2 sorry uh, then um, v1 0.065 all are known so i can find from this i can find gamma equal to 1.344 for this gas okay so the gas no information is available only cv is given now from the isentropic process where the end states are known i apply this equation and get the value of gamma that is one of the usual information i got from this okay now go to the next part what is change in entropy for the adiabatic process so delta s equal to m into cv ln t2 by t1 plus r ln v2 by v1 now we are talking about the states 2 v2 t2 etc because it is a adiabatic process the actual state 2 so now this can be written as delta s can be written as 1 into cv cv is given as 1.2 correct into ln t2 is now what 510 divided by 540 plus r how will you calculate r cv equal to r by gamma minus 1 or r equal to gamma minus 1 into cv gamma is calculated as 1.344 minus 1 into 1.2 so that will be 0.4128 kilo joule per kg kelvin r value so since we know from the isentropic process gamma value using that gamma i can calculate r value now that r value i have to use it here 0.4128 long 0.1875 this is the final state this initial state 625 that's it so that will be equal to 0.3849 kilo joule per kelvin so please see this the information to get properties can also be done using the thermodynamics for example in this case the first process which is isentropic process the information about the states were used to get the property gamma and using that for the adiabatic reversible irreversible adiabatic process we have got the entropy change so when i when the states are fixed okay you may wonder that in a irreversible process how can you find the entropy change i am actually trying to fit a reversible process between the same end states the end states are given as t1 v1 t2 v2 
using the nth states that is state 1 and state 2 by fitting a reversible process. So, that is what actually we are doing in the TDS relationships. TDS equal to du plus PdV or TDS equal to dH minus VdP. In these two, when you derive it, we have assumed that the process is reversible. So, when you integrate this, we get this. Correct. So, that means with the n states, if I can, the state 1 and state 2, if I can fit a reversible process between state 1 and state 2, once the states are known to me, then I can calculate the property change, entropy change. Okay. So, that is what we are trying to do here. So, that is very important. So, all the information given the problem are used and the problem is solved. This is the uh, third problem.